اهلا بيكم اصدقائي طلاب الصف الثالث الاعدادي لغات بنكمل مع بعض دراسه منهجنا انجلش وورلد 9 والنهارده هنبدا مع بعض يونت 7 اللي عنوانها اتس كلاسيك نبدا بقراءه الفوكاب شايلي شايلي مينز تيملي نيرفسلي كومفورتبلي يعني بخجل او ببطء تيملي يعني بطريقه اليفه سويفتلي يعني quickly or fast يعني بسرعة goodness gracious يعني يا إلهي ده expression كده معنى oh my god tack up or tack something up معناها يربط أو يرفق بشيء ال definition fasten or attach scary scary يعني يفر يفر مزعورا to move quickly and with short steps يعني يجري بسرعة بخطوات قصيرة دينتي دينتي يعني رقيق أو لطيف أو يبقى معناه طيب المذاق something delicious حاجة طعمها لذيذة to the taste small and neat وبتكون صغيرة وأنيقة <تصفيق> بنكمل cautiously descend يعني ينزل بحرص يعني ينزل من عربية أو ينزل على سلالم cautiously descend to go down carefully creep shyly creep shyly يعني يزحف ببطء moving slowly and silently inspect critically uh, definition بالعربي أو المعنى بالعربي هنا مش مظبوط خلينا نقرأ definition بيقول لنا to view and examine carefully ينظر لحاجة ويتفحصها بحرص هو أعتقد إن المعنى ده اللي هو يفتش بحرص ده هو مفترض يكون فوق inspect critically okay. عندنا aim of ensuring بهدف أو يهدف للتأكد the aim of ensuring healthy lives and promote for all at all ages يعني يهدف للتأكد يعني entirely in someone's إيه طبعا يبقى definition في العربي هنا مش مظبوط هو احنا ممكن نكتبها بالنيابة عن شخص آخر entirely in someone's, إيه someone's place مثلا يعني بشكل كامل في مكان شخص آخر ال definition بيقول لنا hand to put yourself in a situation انك بتحط نفسك في, في موقف where somebody else شخص تاني is responsible for what happens to you عندنا phrases means cause الحاجات دي أو ال expressions دي أو phrases دي كلها معناها يسبب بس مع اختلاف المعنى نقرأ بالراحة ونشوف الفرق ما بينهم take it up معناها يقصر أو to shorten لو أنا مثلا في فستان أو بنطلون عايز أقصره بنقول take it up وممكن يبقى معناها كمان يرفع يرفع الحافية بتاعته يعني contribute to يعني يساعد حدوث شيء to be one uh, to be uh, sorry to be one of several causes that uh, help to make something happen انك تكون واحد من الاسباب اللي بتخلي شيء يحصل او يحدث give rise to يعني يؤدي الى او خلينا uh, بالمعنى العامي اللي هو يشعل الحاجه يعني to make something happen تتخلي حاجة تحصل especially something unpleasant or unexpected لو خصوصا لو حاجة سيئة بتحصل انك بت بت بتساهم في ان انت تزود حدوثها lead to يعني يقود الى uh, to begin a process that makes something happen later انك بتخلي عملية او شيء يحصل <تصفيق> بس متأخر شوية bring about يعني يشارك في بس ده عكس اللي هو give rise to يشارك في حدوث شيء ولكن هنا حاجة كويسة يشارك في حدوث شيء كويس عكس give rise to to make something happen especially something positive لو خصوصا شيء إيجابي that improves the situation خصوصا لو الموقف سنو عندنا هنا مجموعة من الـ adjectives اللي منتهية كلها بـ الـ suffix ek بس نقرأ مع بعض، أوكي؟ أول كلمة acidic، acidic containing acid حاجة بيبقى فيها حمض، ها 
having a very sore taste حاجة لها مذاق حمضي أو لا زي فأحسدك يعني حمضي artistic يعني فني having or showing the skill or an artist تظهر حاجة فنية athletic athletic يعني رياضي of or relating to sports حاجة لها علاقة بالرياضات games or exercises heroic يعني بطولي having or showing a great courage to be a شجاعه عظيم majestic يعني مبجل large or impressively beautiful حاجه جميله بشكل اخيز او مؤثر poetic يعني شعري of relating to or characteristic of poet or poetry حاجه لا علاقه بالشعر <تصفيق> عندنا بعض الكلمات كمان Advance يعني يتقدم To go forward Alter يعني change يغير أو يبدل Blaze يعني uh, To burn brightly يشتعل بلمعين يتوهج أو يتألق Blush To turn pink because of shyness تتحول للون الوردي اللي هو يحمر وجهه خجلا أو يستحيان Clutter or clutter To make a quick uh, series of short, loud sounds. نك تعمل سلسلة من الأصوات القصيرة والعالية يكرقع أو تقطق زي ما قلت. Clutch يعني يمسك بشدة. To hold suddenly and tightly. Uh, determined determined يعني عازم على. Very sure about something. Eclipses يعني يكسف أو يخسف. Completely covered خصوصا يعني كسوف أو خسوف الأمر Embrace يعني يحضر means hug طبعا Emerge to come out يعني يظهر أو يبرز أو ينبثق كلهم بنفس المعنى Emerge Fasten T silent طبعا يعني يربط أو يثبت حاجة To fix on Fault اللي هو معناها عيب أو أو مثلا flow defect or mistake gasomer gasomer اللي هو مضيء أو هاد gasomer fine and light <تصفيق> hasty يعني متسرع أو متهور معناها hurried numerous numerous يعني many كثير Crumble or crumble اللي اتنين بمعنى واحد يجعد أو يكرمش حاجة Clug خدناها اليونت اللي فاتت معناها يسد ولكن هنا كناون معناها السدات أو المعركل Is a blockage in a pipe حاجة بتسد المصورة or other passage way أو أي ممر Survey اللي هو طبعا استبيان أو حصر to get an overview of something تاخد أو تحصل على وجهة نظر لشيء تون اللي هو نبرة الصوت quality of a person's voice dart dart هنا معناها verb المعنى أو بالعربي أعتقد خطأ تماما dart بيقول لنا to run or move quickly or suddenly إنه هو يجري أو يتحرك بسرعة وفجأة اللي هو بمعنى يندفع بقوة مش يقبض ولا يمسك بقوة يندفع ممكن نصلح المعنى ده بس ده في حالة دارت لو كانت verb والدارت لها معنى تاني بس now لو هي now معناها النبلة أو السهم دارت كده خلصت الكلمات خلونا نقرأ بقى أو نبدأ في قراءة درسنا هو الموضوع بيحكي عن إن في بنت اسمها نتاشا هي وعيلتها كان حصلوا على دعوة لحفلة في ليلة راس السنة فنتاشا كانت مهتمة قوي إن إنها تبقى متأكدة إن عيلتها هيظهروا بمظهر لائق فهي كانت واخدة بالها من كل أو هي اللي متابعة كل أفراد العيلة ولبسهم عامل إزاي ولكن هي للأسف اكتشفت إن عندها مشكلة في الدريس اللي هي هتلبسه فبدأوا إن الخادمات يساعدوها إن هما يظبطوا لها الدريس ده وبيحاولوا إن هما يوصلوا الحفلة بدري على قد ما يقدروا لكن طبعا تأخروا بسبب الفستان بتاع نتاشا خلينا نسمع
ثواني الاوديو اوكي Unit 7, pages 74 and 75. Reading. A New Year Ball. 17-year-old Natasha Rostov is visiting St. Petersburg with her parents, the Count and Countess Rostov, and her cousin Sonia. The family has been sent an invitation to a special event. In this extract, the writer recounts Natasha's excitement and her wish that all the family should look their very best. On the 31st of December, on the eve of the new year of 1810, an old grandee of Catherine's Day was giving a ball to see out the old year. كلمه بول دي مش معنى كوره زي المعنى اللي احنا الشائع للكلمه ولكن بول اللي هي حفل حفل راس راقص يعني لما بيتجمعوا بيرقصوا على انغام موسيقيه The diplomatic corps and the emperor were to be present. A diplomatic corps معناها الهيئه الدبلوماسيه The grandee's well-known mansion on the English Quay blazed with innumerable lights. Police were stationed at the brilliantly lit, red-carpeted entrance. Not only gendarmes, but the chief of police himself and dozens of officers. Carriages drove away, and new ones kept arriving with red-liveried footmen and grooms in plumed hats. From the carriages emerged men wearing uniform, stars and ribbons, while ladies in satin and ermine cautiously descended the carriage steps, which were let down for them with a clatter, and swiftly and noiselessly passed along the red bays into the porch. Already a third of the guests had arrived, but the Rostovs, who were to be present, were still hurrying to get dressed. Natasha was going to her first grand ball. She had got up at eight that morning, and had been in a fever of excitement and energy all day. All her energies from the moment she woke had been directed to the one aim of ensuring that they all, herself, Mama and Sonia, should look their very best. Sonia and the Countess put themselves entirely in her hands. Sonia was nearly ready, so was the Countess, but Natasha, who had bustled about helping everyone, was less advanced. She was still sitting before the looking glass with a peignoir thrown over her thin shoulders. Sonia, on the last stage, stood in the middle of the room, fastening on a final bow and hurting her dainty finger as she pressed the pin that squeaked as it went through the ribbon. Not like that, Sonia, not like that, cried Natasha, turning her head and clutching with both hands at her hair, which the maid, who was dressing it, had not time to let go. That bow isn't right. Come here. Sonia sat down, and Natasha pinned the ribbon differently. If you please, miss, I can't get on like this, said the maid, still holding Natasha's hair. Oh, goodness gracious, wait then. There, that's better, Sonia. Will you soon be ready? came the Countess's voice. It is nearly ten. Coming, coming. What about you, Mama? I have only my cap to pin on. Don't do it without me, cried Natasha. You won't do it right. Yes, but it's ten o'clock. It had been agreed they should arrive at the ball at half past ten. But Natasha had still to get her dress on before they called for Madame Peronsky. When her hair was done, Natasha, in a short petticoat from under which her dancing slippers showed and her mother's dressing jacket, ran up to Sonia, inspected her critically, and then flew on to her mother. Turning the Countess's head this way and that, she fastened on the cap, gave the grey hair a hasty kiss, and scurried back to the maids who were shortening her skirt. The cause of the delay was Natasha's skirt, which was too long. Two maids were at work, turning up the hem and hurriedly biting off the threads. A third, with her mouthful of pins, was running backwards and forwards between the Countess and Sonia, 
while a fourth held the gossamer garment high on one uplifted hand. Hurry up, Mavra, darling. Hand me that thimble, please, miss. Aren't you ever going to be ready? asked the Count, coming to the door. Here you are, still perfuming yourselves. Madame Peronsky must be tired of waiting. Ready, miss, said the maid, lifting up the shortened tulle skirt with two fingers. Natasha began putting on the dress. In a minute, in a minute, don't come in, Papa, she cried to her father at the door, her face eclipsed in a cloud of tulle. Sonia slammed the door to, but a moment later they let the Count in. He was wearing a blue swallowtail coat, stockings and buckled shoes, and was perfumed and pomaded. Oh, Papa, how nice you look! Lovely! exclaimed Natasha, as she stood in the middle of the room, stroking out the folds of her tulle. If you please, miss, allow me, said the maid, who was on her knees pulling the skirt straight and shifting the pins from one side of her mouth to the other with her tongue. You can say what you like, cried Sonia in despairing tones as she surveyed Natasha's dress. You can say what you like. It is still too long. Natasha stepped back to see herself in the pier glass. The dress was too long. Really, madam, it is not at all too long, said Mavra, crawling on her knees after her young lady. Well, if it's too long, we'll tack it up. We can do it in a second, said the determined Dunyasha. At that moment, the countess in her cap and velvet gown crept shyly into the room. Ooh, my beauty, cried the Count. She looks nicer than any of you. He would have embraced her, but blushing, she stepped back for fear of getting her gown rumpled. Mama, your cap wants to go more to one side, said Natasha. I'll alter it for you. And she darted forward so that the maids who were tacking up her skirt could not follow her fast enough and a piece of the tulle got torn off. Mercy, what was that? Really, it was not my fault. Never mind, I'll put a stitch in it. It won't show, said Dunyasha. My beauty, my little queen, exclaimed the old nurse, coming in at the door. And little Sonia too. Ah, oh, the beauties. At last, at a quarter past ten, they seated themselves in the carriage and were on their way. Glossary Grandee, an older person who has done important... لحد كلمة grammar وهنقف وبكده خلص درسنا النهاردة أتمنى يكون كان سهل الدرس مش صعب قوي ولكن لازم نحفظ الكلمات ونقرأ أكتر من مرة أشوفكم في فيديو قادم ودرس جديد إن شاء الله سلام